I want to try out Windows XP Dark Edition, but I don't trust it. So to verify that it's safe, this is what we're going to do. Here we have an ISO of Windows XP Dark Edition version 7 Rebirth downloaded from the Internet Archive. I'm going to open it in Power ISO and extract the contents to a new folder on the desktop. Then we're going to... I was going to say scan for viruses, but Windows Defender beat me to it. This is the exact reason not to trust unofficial software. It may, and in this case does, contain malware. I'm going to tell Windows Defender to remove the two files. Then, let's scan the folder with malware bytes. That scan came up clean. For good measure, let's scan the folder with McAfee Stinger. Also clean. That scan took over two hours to complete. If we look at the contents of the folder, you may notice it looks nothing like a standard Windows XP ISO. The system subfolder here contains more folders, each for some variation of Windows XP Dark Edition. I really just want the original version. Here in the subfolder is the i386 folder, which contains all of the files used for Windows setup. Here in the SVC pack folder is all of the extra programs and updates that will be installed during Windows setup. I want to copy this original Dark Edition folder to the desktop and delete the rest. Now I want to browse through the subfolders and decompress all the files. In the case of these CAB files, they are also compressed, so I want to extract the contents of those as well. Now that we have the ISO completely deconstructed, I want to scan it for viruses again. Thankfully, that scan came up clean. I'm reasonably certain that the ISO is now safe to use. I do want to open this ISO in Nlight and remove the included product key. Also, I will take a quick look around to see if any other settings have been modified, or if there are any questionable registry keys that will be added post-setup. Everything looks good. Now to install it in a virtual machine. I want to go back to the host system and mount the VHD, then scan it for viruses. I want to make sure this ISO is completely clean. Windows Defender found no threats. Malwarebytes also found no threats. So we're in good shape. 